At first glance, this bus seems like any other in the German city of Braunschweig. Except at this stop in the city center, the bus lines up with a plate in the ground and charges using a magnetic field. The driver doesn't need to get out to plug a big thick cable into a charging dock, then remove it from the dock and store it back in the bus. Instead, the bus charges at the press of a button. Buses can charge at the depot overnight, or even for minutes and seconds at a time while passengers board at two other stops. How far a bus can go on a single charge is well researched. If the bus sticks to its route, no problem. But now scientists at the Automotive Research Center in Braunschweig want to find out how to bring induction charging to cars. For that, they'd need a widespread network of charging points. For example, at traffic lights. On average, you can expect cars to stop for about 30 seconds at traffic lights. It's not the same for every type of vehicle. But for those which don't, they can charge at the next red light, so they'll have the power they need. A car can only store about one-tenth of the energy a bus can hold. And outside of cities, fewer traffic lights would mean fewer chances to charge. Another implementation that we're considering is not just to have charging points, but to have a constant magnetic induction in the road. We'd have an extensive primary coil installed in the street so that cars can get the power to drive as far as they need to. Permanent magnetic fields in roads are still a long way off. But individual charging docks like these can be installed quickly and have an upside for the cityscape when compared to tracks and overhead cables. It's an advantage because you can't see it. You have a load of around 200 kilowatts, but you can't see anything except what we're standing on now, a small charging plate. Three buses are currently using induction technology in Braunschweig and two more are set to take to the streets by the end of the year. And next year, three cars will take the tech to taxi customers.